welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to use the dimension command properly. First of all, I want to say to you that if you don't know how to draw this picture, I will put a link in the description and a link also right here. So let's get started. First of all, I will use this image to show you the, how to use proper this command, but also I will use another drawing for another video. So let's get started. Let's say I have this picture, this actually this plan of the building, and I want to know what is the measurement or what is the distance between those two axes. So I'll use the dimension. I will press here or I can type dim or I can type dimension. There is the same thing. I can go here in this point. Okay, and here I have it, 40, 440. But let's say I made a little mistake and I want to be um, upper or to be in the down in the downside. Okay, I can go like this, or I can switch to be exactly here, very very close. It is not a problem. It is up to you. Or let's say I made another mistake and I have. Um, another axis that I want to measure. Instead of deleting it and putting it again, I will click on it, I will see this point, and I will move this point until the next axis, and I have this part. Or let's say I have here a detail or something, and I have a line that goes straight through this number. What I should do? I will click on it, and I will see a dot here. Okay, I will click on this dot, and I will drag this number in the left side or right side doesn't matter but i will make this um, change if there is no way to delete this part or i or i absolutely need this detail okay another example is how to use dimension for example i have just this line okay i will use dimension and i have two options here to go from a point to the other or just to go with dimension and to just click on it because this is a single line and I don't need another detail okay or I will delete it or let's say another part I must have exactly the measurement for all these axes but first of all don't forget because it's very important if I want to see what are the exactly measurements I need to activate first this command object snap because I need all these parts, midpoint, center, node, quadrant, extension, insertion, and so on. So let's say I want to continue to measure all these axes. I will not go with dimension. I will go with this one, dimension continue, dim continue, as you saw. Okay, so I will go right here. And I will continue. Let's say I need all the axes. And here I have it. Another possibility to use dimension is to measure the arches. So I will show you. Let's say I have this door or this door, it doesn't matter. I'll go exactly in the, in the center. And as you saw, I have a door of 90 units. Okay. I can go here. I can go there. It's not a problem or in every point. And, and there is a difference here. I have the exactly measurement. So the exact unit that I need, okay, I can let it here, but in the other time, if I put this one in this, okay, I have the same, but if I put it here, I have another dimension. If I put it here, I have the other dimension and so on. I can show you in the other part. So let's say here, I want to measure the distance from this point until the middle right here okay so here it's 60 i will let it like this i go again and here i have 24 you see there is in the diagonal the, there is here in another plan other side and here it's fi it's 55 so you see there is here three different measurements it, it's up to you what you need I do will delete this one. Another use for the dimension is to show you what kind of diameter I have here. It will be automatically generated. For, 
For example, here I have a radius of 60. I'll click on it and as you saw, I can go whenever I want with it. I can go like this or I can make it longer like this. It, you just need to click on it and that is all. Or to touch the surface. For example, this circle right here up to here. This is the diameter. Okay, it, it is not a problem, but here, just before to click, it will automatically generate not the radius, the diameter. I will click on it and now I can extend it. The same situation is with an angle. Let's say here I have a 90 degree angle. Okay, I will go on it. It will be automatically generated, but I will select also this line. Let's say here I want to see what is the angle. Here it's obvious that I have a 90 degree angle. I'll go, okay, it will be automatically generated and I will select also this line and now it can be all it can be seen that I have a 90 degree angle or let's do another thing I will build a line here let's imagine there is a math exercise and I need to solve what are these two angles I will select this line I will select this line automatically 43 degrees the same situation in the other side select this one 45 47 sorry and here we have it if you are curious how i made this image i will leave the link in the description and also for this part for this drawing it is from my series for beginners or intermediate so i highly suggest you to watch it i hope this video helped you like always don't forget to like share subscribe and see you next time